life was very comfortable. So we we lived in Caboolture. We had a five acre property and we had only just built. So we had only been living on our property for about 12 months. We found that throughout the weeks, we were you know, working full time jobs, my wife, myself, um, and the jobs that we were doing were pretty um, intense emotionally. Just finding that the toll of the work and then everything that was going on there was also having an impact on how present I'd be at home. You work all week so hard just to create this, pay the mortgage, keep things going and moving forward just to do the day to day and you miss real out really on those opportunities and those moments of just doing, doing life in general. That's why we made the decision, what we did, just to really take the opportunity and realise that this small window, which can seem massive at the moment and exhausting because we've got three young kids and the sleepless nights and everything like that, but I understand that this, I will be wishing this back. So what was the plan and how'd you get here? <laughs> yeah, right. Well. The plan really was, um, we sold up everything, like everything we own. Um, the plan was just to travel and to explore Australia and, um, and just see what happens. And I really don't know how it all came to be. We got a um, an, an message from our station manager that's um, basically employing us here to do what we're doing as caretaking role. And he said, hey, got this position if you're interested. Um, and we we're like, yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's give it a go. If Caleb's home, then we do a lot of exploring the place together because there's 25,000 acres here, so there's lots to do. The boys are just in love with all the sticks and the dirt and there's just so much fun to look at. There's puddles, um, young boys are attracted to mud and water wherever we go, no matter how cold it is. If Caleb's at work, we just do school, uh, getting a bit more confident with getting the firewood, so started splitting the wood with the ax and learning some new ways there, which has been a big adjustment for me. Me and Oki play in the really deep water. Find all cows in there and just go find or wallabies. The closest form of store of some sort is over two hours away. Uh, we go just over three hours away, that's the closest Woolworths. So that has been a learning for me, not going, having the, the luxury and the convenience of going to the shops every few days because the kids ate all this or I forgot to get whatever. The closest hospital that would be able to do anything is over three hours away. It'll take the ambulance about two and a half hours to get here if we needed someone. Yeah, but the traffic is awesome. You don't see a car sometimes for the two hours that it takes to get off a dirt road. Everything's a learning opportunity, right? So um, we were, I was doing a bit of work um, at the other station with this. We were moving some dirt and found myself getting bogged and uh, I had to end up walking 10 k's to get back to the station house to try to be able to get contact just because you've got no cell phone reception. So, um, but yeah, it's just, it's the things like that. But even on the walk back, it's just like, you know what, this is pretty awesome. It's been a, a great time in all honesty. I'm loving it, um, which I was a bit worried about because that was not me previously. I never had any intentions of homeschooling my kids beforehand. Um, but we have all day, so we can take as long as we need to read a book or whatever it is. I thought I got oh, me. Me. Oh, no, Hang on, hang on. Not your yeah. From what we were wanting to see was see confidence built in, in our children. But what I didn't realise is that being in suburbia, the comfortability and things of that actually had withdrawn our own confidence. And, and since we've been here, I've just seen that explode in, in all of us um, and what we're capable of doing or um, even putting ourselves out to do. Yeah. 
Definitely the best decision we've made for a long time.